Resumes in terms of length of as we get underway here at Providence Park in Portland. Ball over the top. Bounces in for Rodriguez off the post. Off the post for Rodriguez and Mascara whips that one in and on the first touch did not miss by much. What an effort. Rodriguez again. Evander tried to head that down. We'll get another goal though. Just inside the area of the Brazilian. Across the face of goal! this type of thing off there's a vander away from goal well defended there from Fontes really nice and close but he's able to just in tight control get a little back lift and chip it away and into the perfect spot for Mora running into the six and knocking home from all of two yards and the Portland Timbers as you mentioned Blake off to this start aggressively in the first few minutes of the second half are rewarded with a well taken goal from Felipe Mora. Johnny Russell just behind Polito back to goal not much to do Memo Rodriguez blasts one through Max Crapo and there's the leveling mark it's 1-1 it's another giveaway though for Portland is it's Chara with the loose touch there and as it comes across centrally good touch first time from Russell that's where I thought Russell would shoot it but Polito gets in the way and it's a good thing he does because he's able to lay it back for Memo Rodriguez who just fires through it and Maxime Crepeau can only get a touch as he pushes it into the side netting terrific strike from the former LA and Houston man and he's having a really good season with Sporting Kansas City Anthony full head of steam for Rodriguez Rodriguez on the right foot looking into the middle for Mora down for Evander but the flag is up the pass from Mora is offside After review, Portland number nine is not in an offside position final decision was a decision that Phil Neville knew to be certain he went and Timbers able to secure the win at home and defend for their lives right to the very end. They relied on their goalkeeper as well to make a fantastic game.